Hi guys, what's up? <laughs> I'm so excited to be back to my studio. Last week we flew all the way. Let me say we fly, Sha, but you get the point. We shall went to another state to have an episode with Chamak and I had my first guest on the season. Chishi, I'm super grateful to her because that week was so busy, but we found time to like shoot an episode for this podcast so because we have to keep moving regardless proverb 14 verse 12 made us to understand that there is a way that seemeth right unto man but, but the end thereof is death for months you know i'm a big fan of netflix for months for weeks i spoke to my friend she said i was telling her that ah, what's up now nah? so yesterday said netflix even had to give us one film that they, they titled um, chicken nuggets i was like netflix give me something to work with because i am a very big fan of that um app uh, love is blind i used to like follow love is blind but recent season has been quite superficial not that it's, they have not been producing amazing shows um we have a nicola on that um streaming platform but i just needed something to work with something that would their standard basically and they crowned my waiting with an amazing nollywood film i don't know how to say this but that film just reminded me of my root when i was growing up my dad we always like have this um set of boys i think it was every year every two two years we just had this boy so he was staying with us for over six years so our topic today let's keep that <laughs> Welcome to another amazing episode on EWL Podcast. Don't forget that this podcast is a platform for you to be expressive and a reality check. I'm your host, Amit is the Gloria, and I'm super excited to have you guys on this episode today. Our topic today is the Umwa Boy Story, courtesy of Netflix, featuring the titled Afame Funa. In bracket, the system that sustains. A system that sustains. When I was working on this topic, in fact, uh, the truth is, as you can see, I'm not even with my book. But the Bible verse just dropped in my mind. My daddy always said this to us, Proverbs 14, verse 12. And I remember sitting with my dad in the parlor that day, and he was like, Oluchi, and it was not just me, me and my siblings, and he was like, how long have did it take me to have a house of my own? How long did it take me to like acquire what I have now? The legacy, the the achievement and we counted two decades guys i am in a generation where process is not something again damn it i am in a generation that do not even understand process shortcut is the way and people do the shortcut thing and it works for them but an umwa boy story the concept of umwa boy is something that <laughs> that is what makes my culture is so beautiful. I'm a proud Igbo girl. I always tell people where I go that I'm a proud Igbo girl. And people now even use it as when they want to describe you, say that Igbo girl. <laughs> so the culture of this system of Umwa boy, thinking about it now, for those guys, for those boys that worked under my diet growing up, I would like say a lot of them are doing well for themselves. I mean, I have people I even call sometimes and I would say not to beg for money, you guys calm down. <laughs> But I will call them sometimes and I will like have conversations with them. Of what do we do about this business strategy? What is the best business strategy for this um, season? Because we're in, a, we're in a season where everything, you have to be smart about everything. If not, it's about you investing your money and you are just exchanging your money for, for it, basically. So this Omar Boy story just shows process. So as usual, Netflix should run me my check. Because when I talk about a movie, people end up going to watch it. Like it's not even like I'm boastful or anything was the fact. Afame Funa on Netflix. It talks about a guy, Afame Funa. But the story basically was sent, is centered about our topic now, a system that sustains. So there's something I just want to bring out from that movie. Go and watch it. I'm not giving you guys any spoiler. I'm not. So go and watch it. It's a very interesting movie. I do not talk about any movie that is not interesting. Take it from me. This movie is really, really quite educative. So when I talk about the system that sustains and I've listed the fact that my daddy has worked with a lot of people that are doing well for themselves. Growing up today, I'll come to the house from school because I went to a boarding school. Before going to a boarding school and after going to a boarding school, I will come to the house today and I will hear my daddy call Emeka Chizoba 
Santana. Like we had a lot of boys in our house growing up, and I try to understand why evil men would gather like bon- dozens of men, boys around them. But it's a system that has helped the evil community. Evil people are known for for multiplying. We are known for expansion. So in this story of Alpha Mephuna, you see the case of there were boys there, but you see a case of Alpha Mephuna and um, Polo. I remember when I was in school then, my f- I had friends that were already driving Lazarus' car. And I would always tell myself, <laughs> me and my friend Chavaka, we'd be like, God, am I your stepchild? Well, in everything we have achieved as young ladies that we are, I think it's something that we are proud of. Speaking for myself, it's something I am proud of. Because for everything I do, for every phase of my life I cross, it's something I'm proud of. Because I know I have gone through the process of sustainability. It's something that goes after me, that would proceed even when I'm not there anymore. And I think that is why I'm a huge fan of my dad. I always talk about my dad a lot. My dad, we always tell us the importance of integrity. He always tell us the importance of being patient, being modest. And when I talk about the system of sustainability, I always link it to the concept of quick money. People do not necessarily appreciate hard work. I always tell people too that hard work is it's is is amazing. Hard work pays off. Hard work is cool. I think that is what evil people are known for. We are known to tilling, tilling, tilling. When I say evil people, it seems like I'm sounding tribalistic now. So let me rephrase that. A lot of people you see that have progressed in this life, they will link their story to hard work, which is amazing. But I think one thing that has sustained them is the, is the concept of process. Even I always say this in most of my episodes, God is the God of process. The system of sustainability, a system that sustains, a system that proceeds even when you're not there. We are in a generation where process is no longer a thing quick money is the way at my age i'm considered broke (laughs) guys at my age i'm considered broke i'm not saying that people younger than myself has not like done something really meaningful or people younger than myself has not made good money when i say good money you understand yeah we're not talking about nera yeah thank you very much but i'm saying in coming from this um case study and one boy story people serve their masters for six years people serve their masters for 10 years even if we look at the bible when we look at jacob jacob served laban for 12 years before he was able to consider his, himself a boss of his own but i am in a generation where this thing is no longer it's not even longer it's not even questionable where i work I remember we try, I remember our like our office trying to recruit um people to work with us. I, I tell people why go for a hundred thousand naira now when you can make over a million naira later? Here is it. Me and Chimaka were having this conversation where we talked about girls working as sales girls in office and we it got to a point that it was so brutal that the girl will start working in your office today and Within the next two months, probably a rich customer comes around. Probably she encounters, in quotes, my provider. And you see she stops work and you are left stranded because there was no prior notice that, okay, your staff is going to stop. So we even went to, like, it got to the point where people now give one-year contracts. So before you start working for me, you have to, like, sign one-year contract. So that is the generation I have found myself in. A generation where somebody cannot even work one year without looking for a quick way out. A generation where people do not appreciate the concept of process. People just want to get in and get out. Come on, we have guys of 16, 17. I think I was even going one day and you see a young boy that I know I'm quite older than with probably what? I'm in my early 20s and you see a boy of 18, 19 trying to approach you or trying to think that they can provide in quotes give you the money that would sustain you but i think for people that understand purpose for people that understand that life is not just about now life is about a legacy that would precede you even when you're no more i think this concept of umwa boy the concept of 
process will be very much appreciated. And that is why when people say we have lazy youth now, I do not argue in as much as I disagree. It's not entirely true. We have 50% of our youth working tirelessly to make ends meet and to create better life for themselves. But in the same note, we are in a generation where process is not appreciated. We don't do long term. We just want, like, <laughs> it is quick, 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 quick generation. So I very much appreciate Netflix for this movie, Afamifuna. You should go watch it. And it's something that a lot of us saw growing up, our fathers, especially in the evil side. Our father would just like, bring boys. You'll see them working in your father's office. And then after some particular time, you will not see them again. So it's really, really, it's a really good film. It's a really good wake-up call for young boys and young girls. Like Everything is processed, guys. But I'm just going to say this, and I'm just going to conclude with that. This A system that sustains is a well organized system that appreciates very much the concept of process and hard work a system that will sustain that is what we want guys that is what i would advise it's giving nobody's going to hear this because everybody wants quick money yeah but i just want us to appreciate the system of sustainability a system that sust- a system that would proceed even when you go to these Agbar- Agbaru people, people that do Agbaru on the road, all the stouts, you see even when they are retiring, they get they gather young, young boys on the road to come and like know what the system is talking about. And that is why when you even think that this guy is already getting old, very soon you will come up for the road. Before the next two years, you see a young boy that is already doing the same activities. So I really, I, I consider myself to be a very... Um, conservative modern person i am one that appreciates culture to involve i want culture i am in support of culture involving but in as much as we want these cultures of because people will tell you that one boy there's not there's no difference between one boy and slavery which is wrong because if you even check from the bible time from jacob to people that i had seen forehand you know that this process of training or working under somebody or gathering knowledge before you start is very very important alpha mefuna is a very nice movie and i just said i should hint that on this episode summarizing on this episode i would advise young girls and young boys to actually take a hint from this movie alpha mefuna quick money is amazing come on you're going to buy beautiful things within the space of what one month of being an apprentice, two months of being an apprentice. If you even check the life of Polo, Polo asked, told himself, why work hard when I can actually get money from my boss's daughter, who was very much in love with him. But because of he was not able to train himself, he was not able to discipline himself, he could not tell the difference between good money and money. <laughs> Come on, Afro Nefuna in that movie made good money. I mean, he was paying 5 million naira every month for Polo, who thought he had the eyes for business. God blessed him with a very nice, he had a very nice communication skills when it comes to customer service. But he did not have the spirit of discernment to know when to stop. He did not have the spirit of discernment to know that. I still have a long way in this business. And that's why even when his boss... See, I'm already giving too much too much spoiler in this movie. Just go see that movie. But I just want our generation... I'm calling our generation, especially Generation Z. I'm Generation Z. Including myself. Quick Money is amazing. <laughs> it looks enticing. But why go for a mini money when you can work hard and sustain yourself? And you get that... See, people... Who, we would do things and they would get what millions of naira but there are people that will work hard and millions of naira is like what chicken change it's not easy but i just think and i know that of course the system of sustainability and appreciation of process and hard work should be brought back to the system why i conclude by saying that government and schools should also include um the importance of first aid in our system. Concluding on this topic, I want you to go see this movie, Alpha Mefuna, I know one by story, now streaming on Netflix. It will just summarize this episode for you, I promise you. 
and I would want our young girls and young boys generation C, I want us to now remember the importance of process and patience. You get some patience that they kill you, but you sometimes just have to calm down. What? It's not going to take all your time, but just learn properly before you go venture into things. And I think life will be better. We are talking about becoming amazing people on this season. We are trying to like prepare ourselves for the big things. So it's all about process. Yes, guys. So don't forget to go stream this podcast on Anchor, Spotify, and on YouTube. It's going to pop on the screen. Guys, please go subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful. We are on 200 and more subscribers on YouTube. We're getting more views. I'm so grateful. I know I talk, I'm going to take my own advice and keep up on the consistency. I now have a vlog now streaming on my YouTube channel. Please go check it out. It's going to pop at the end of this video. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. On Instagram, Olochimitezi, EW underscore podcast. On Facebook, Olochimitezi. On X app, I keep saying Twitter. On X, formerly Twitter, Olochimitezi. I'm your host, Timothy Ziology Gloria. Don't forget to spread love because God is love. Love is God. Bye, guys.